about livelihood of the people in that area code but also the people in Amolata district are uh, disgruntled with the fact that there's continuous mismanagement of land the land disputes there are an arm and a leg Stephen Bide is talking to one of the lawyers on the council that is handling land disputes in Amolata district good morning to you Stephen yes good morning to you thank you so much for watching Morning at NTV, Stephen Imbido on Pepe's Switch, we are coming to you from Nansana. On Monday, there was a violent demonstration in Amorata, and police were had to be called in to quell this demonstration by residents, that is, especially in Namasale, when, when they had information that they were supposed to be, uh, they were called, were called for a meeting after information was trickling in that uh, one called Juliet Katushave was the rightful owner of, a land, of the land in Namasale, and these people we are supposed to be either evicted or they had to be where well, they had to vacate that land but this when they had this, this information many people got up in arms and got started demonstration demonstrating touching some houses which led police to quell this demonstration but this also all stemmed from a letter that came from Ayotole and company advocates we want to establish who is Ayotole and company advocates who wrote this letter but now i'm going to be speaking to Samuel Ayotole who is coming from Ayotole and Company Advocates in Makerere. And this is Samuel Ayotole. Good morning to you, Sebo. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, NTV and the viewers. You are Samuel Ayotole from Ayotole and Company Advocates. Yes, I am Samuel Ayotole. I am the founder of Ayotole and Company Advocates. Uh, we are situated on Makerere Hill Road. Uh, 17th of July. Before even we go uh, to 17th, yes. we saw a letter uh, circulating on social media uh, that is said to have originated from Ayotre and Campana Advocates that was calling for a meeting in Amorata where we saw a demonstration. Tell us about this letter and the demonstration. Now, I have not received a physical copy of that letter, but I have seen a letter dated the 9th of July making rounds on social media it has been shared with uh, you know to me with from colleagues in the profession comrades that i practice the law with i have seen only the social media copy not seen a copy of that physical letter but and apparently this letter caused chaos in amorata yes 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 i have seen uh, that there was actually a demonstration following an invitation by that letter calling for a, a meeting of the community members of people settled on about 100 acres of land. Now, we are on that. Do you own that later? No, 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 not at all. Let me state this emphatically: that as a Yotu and Company advocates, we did not write that letter. We did not write that letter. We do not know Juliet Katusime. We have Katushabe. never Katushabe, rather. We have never engaged her as a client we do not have a file in office neither me or any of the lawyers that works with us in the chambers has engaged any client by those names yes okay and how then does this letter later pay a your and company advocates your exact location in makerere in uh, along uh, in makerere and then mirembe house with the telephone numbers that you say are not yours now, when you look at that letter <laughs> closely, a Yotra and Company Advocates is a duly registered, certified law firm. We are recognized by the law, law council that knows our offices. The law council has a copy of the official letterhead that the firm uses with them at the offices. Our letterhead has uh, an office logo. It has telephone contacts for point of contact with the firm. The telephone numbers that appear on our official letterhead are not the same as the telephone numbers that appear on the face of that letter of 9th of July. The signature that is born on this letter of 9th of July that caused the issues in Amolatal does, is, does not belong either to me or any of the lawyers that practice with the firm. So that letter does not belong so to So do them. you want to say that uh, someone forged this letter and caused, may caused mayhem in Mar Amarata? D definitely so, definitely so. We have already actually opened a police case and the matter is under inquiry. We are hopeful that the police will help 
to identify this particular person. But, but, but again, just as a word of counsel to the members of the public, you know, I know that the market has been flooded with a, a lot of uh, lawyers here and there, but it's very important that as a, a client out there, you know, law firms now have uh, uh, an online presence. When you engage a lawyer, it's very important that take effort. Go to the law firm where this lawyer practices from. There is no lawyer that renews their practicing license or certificate for the year except they attach to a particular institution or firm with which they practice the law. Now, when you engage a lawyer out there, bother to go to the firm where they practice such that you can engage, get to know the environment you know, under, under which they work, so that you can even engage another lawyer because instructions are not given to a lawyer, instructions are given to a firm. So don't engage a hoodlum out there, a fraudster out there, uh, and, and fail to go to the farm where they, they practice. Since this touches on the name of uh, Samuel Ayotori, Ayotre, but also on your farm, have you tried to either uh, engage the one Juliet Katushabe or the Law Society, Ghana Law Society, so that you can also either, if you really true that you are not part of this, either to clean your name or to find out who is behind this, away from going to the police? Now, uh, we have not contacted the uh, uh, Juliet Katushabe. We do not, one, we do not know her. Two, like I said, we don't even have her contacts. We do not have her brief regarding that uh, land in Amotal. We have not made it possible, but we are certain that the police will guide, uh, uh, you know, professionally to, to, to lead to the lawyer or person that wrote that letter, and perhaps to Katushabe, to Katushabe herself. Yeah. And then to the Uganda Law Society, if we know, we, the, the, the society is now uh, is having so many of these fraud stars coming up and then are uh, using these such names. Uh, when they don't, where are they, where are they, where they are not the real uh, persons who are advocates. What, what should the society do, the Uganda Law Society, to clean uh, the image but also protect you, the lawyers? You know, there is sufficient guidance in the law. You know, the, the practice of the law, just like, uh, you know, the, the, the doctors, the surveyors, uh, is a very well-regulated uh, profession. Like I said earlier, for a lawyer to practice law, they must be attached to a particular institution or firm. For a lawyer to uh, renew their uh, PC, what we call a practicing certificate for the year, they must be attached to a particular firm. The law society... Not, not the law society, but the law already gives guidance on how the law should be practiced. So it is just an issue of how observance can be given to the legal regime that has already been established on how the law should be practiced. I think that the, 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 the focus should be that the members of the public, when you engage a lawyer, bother, go online, you Google, search for the firm, ask this person which firm they practice with, which institution they practice with, then search that particular institution. Online, you could get alternative contacts where you can reach that particular uh, 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 law firm, where this person that has engaged you practices from. You know, as uh, that is really important, but for the people who had gotten information like that, for example, those in Amorata, uh, their minds were not settled. Yes. They went up in arms. Now there's still tension. They don't know what's coming up next. What do you tell such people in Amorata who may not even have access those smartphones to check who is who, uh, who is this Iotre, whoever it is. What do you tell such people, especially at a time like this, when they are at attention, attention don't, not knowing what is coming up next, but also the authorities in Amolata, but also from the police? I cannot dissipate their attention. If Miss uh, Juliet Kabsabe has a lawful claim to that land, there is a procedure by which that uh, dispute can be addressed. Uh, advisory through the courts of law and then they plead their defense and the matter can be determined in the courts of law and rights are settled. So I cannot say that look, because my farm or uh, uh, the farm is not involved in the dispute, they are okay. No. Any other law firm can take up for the matter on behalf of uh, Akatsabe Juliet and they address it in the courts of law. And, and by the way, this should have been done in the very first place. You see, Land conflict management is a very, 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 uh, is a very fragile, very complicated, very fragile situation. When you have a dispute 
of one person that has the title and then you have uh, squatters on that land, you do not invite for a meeting of the squatters, especially without to the involvement of the local uh, uh, area, area, area governance, without the involvement of the area police in the management of that uh, proposed meeting. Because had that meeting held on 17th of July, there would have been a homicide. The lawyer who had called for, for that meeting, if you are present, would have been injured or murdered. And Miss Juliet, if she was present at that meeting, would have been assaulted or perhaps even murdered. So, so it is a very tricky situation. Land conflict management, it is the best that you address it through the proper criteria, which is the courts of law. And is at, the, at this particular moment, I know miss of uh, lands and housing and as well as urban development, but also uh, local authorities like uh, local dist uh, the district, members of parliament should be coming in at this particular moment to ascertain who is behind all this, isn't it? Now, uh, like I said, as a lawyer, I, I, I do not really underplay the role of uh, politicians, the role, of, the role of the ministry in land management, but I think that the ultimate guidance of the law is that the proper fora is really the courts of law. It is only the courts of law that can eventually determine the rights, whether the property in the issue is the property of Julius Katsabe or it is a property of those individual settlers on that land. Yes. Thank you, Samuel. Thanks for dearly. All right. Th uh, that is Samuel Eotre from uh, the founder of Eotre and Company Advocates. They have come out to uh, dismiss and say they are not the that they are saying they are not the ones behind that letter that was circulating on social media, but also in Amorata that caused some chaos when people went up in arms on the 17th of this month, uh, causing police to come up and then quell the demonstration after they were being given a notice to come for a land management hearing uh, for because they were said to be evicted from land that is over 100 hectares.